Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th, 11th, 12th, you know, the timing is fluid. We are just going to see what comes up. Let's say for the, let's say for the next 48 hours. Hermit reverse, hermit reverse, something may be coming out, you know, maybe there was somebody that was being isolated or they were taking time to think about something. Uh, perhaps they're all done thinking about it and now they've made up their mind and they're coming out to reveal something. They've already had their period of observation and I feel like... They've gotten the information that they need. They've realized something and it feels like we may have, uh, maybe it's time to communicate or socialize or come out of hiding, come out of that period of introspection. Two of swords. So yeah, there's been some sort of indecision, right? Somebody's been torn, uh, maybe playing it safe. Um, going within, I feel like there's a painful, stressful decision here. Um, there may be two options, two truths torn in two different directions, unsure of which way to go. Um, maybe even denial, maybe not seeing something. Um, we have the Page of Wands reversed here. The Page of Wands reversed is typically not good news. It's procrastinating. It's delays. Um, pessimism. So if there's obviously an energy of blockage, okay? So there's some sort of blockage, um, indecision, confusion, I, period of confusion. Um, lack of clarity here. So there's, there's definitely a lack of clarity, but typically the hermit in reversed is, well, maybe we have somebody here that needs to, to really look at something deeper, but from what I feel, I feel like we have somebody here that has been procrastinating. They've been indecisive. They haven't been seeing something clearly. There's been some sort of denial I feel I feel like it's denial this is bad news and it's delays and setbacks and something not coming to fruition and it's due to inaction so there's some sort of inaction here could be bad news Ten of Swords Reverse. So the Ten of Swords Reverse could be something coming back, like I said, with this. They are coming down. This is this is a healing energy. It's guaranteed success, dreaming. This is a blessing typically after a tower moment. This is a realization. And now somebody's realizing something. Maybe they've gone through a period of spiritual awakening after being in a period of denial. It feels like there's been some sort of period of denial here. For that two of swords. Anyhow, there's been betrayal. There's been suffering. There's been pain. There has with the Ten of Swords, but this feels like it's a healing energy. And there may be something to do with independence here. Spending time alone to think, 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 think. Somebody's definitely thinking about wish fulfillment or they're thinking about something. Maybe something even about humanity. Anyhow, the Ten of Swords reversed... Uh, typically is maybe the end of suffering, something getting better. It's a healing energy. Can even be a near-death experience. Strength. 
strength. So the strength is a card of courage, willpower, discipline, overcoming challenges, replacing fear with faith. And we have faith here. So there may be some sort of finding the inner strength and, and something about faith. Replacing fear with faith. Somebody's been hiding something. Maybe they've been struggling in a period of, you know, suffering, suffering, suffering. Moving on from a situation, this is a time of transition. This is traveling, going to a better place, leaving behind a situation, finding the discipline and the willpower and the strength. There's been a period of loneliness, isolation, time out, healing. Okay, okay? so there's been a period of healing, you know, reflecting, soul searching. There's obviously been some sort of loss, a traumatic experience perhaps, but you know, they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So somebody's gained a lot of inner strength. There is a healing energy and this is going to a better place, leaving behind a situation that, you know, has been very isolating. It has been very awakening. It is definitely a spiritual awakening here. Um, there's been a lot of suffering Empress. Now, the Empress is a time of birth and growth and creativity. This is giving birth to something new. It's a time of abundance, of love and wealth. I mean, that's what the Empress is. She's all about the good things. So it's it's a time of rebirth. Okay, it's a, it is. It's a time of rebirth. It doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. Things are going to get better. This is a healing energy. This is a mother, right? The Empress is a mother. She's, a, She is. So this is something about giving birth. And it's time. It's time for a delivery. There's blessing. There's definitely something to do with blessings here. We have a realization after a period of time of isolation. There's been a lot of suffering, but this is a healing energy. And there's something about patience, patience and waiting and waiting and waiting. And now it's time. It feels like it's time. And this is creating something beautiful. I feel like we have somebody here that is earning somebody's trust as well. Patience and going with the flow and not pushing, you know, letting it happen as it should. Anyhow, we have a time of transition. We have moving to a better place. This is creating peace and harmony. There's something definitely about peace. Ooh, temperance reverse. Temperance reversed is something is off. There's an imbalance. Um, there's a lack of balance, lack of compromise. Finding the strength. Somebody needs to find their strength and, and use their strength. Maybe to accept something. So typically, temperance is re in reverse is lack of acceptance. It is impatience. It's going against the flow. very frustrated feels like there's somebody here that is frustrated this is a long time long time long time the timing has been off somebody has been thinking 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 there's a need for profound self-healing here there's been a lot of suffering, betrayal, hurt. And somebody, there's moderation that is needed. There's a need to go within, take a time out to reflect, reevaluate, check yourself, right? Reevaluate your actions and remain calm, right? So something about calmness.
Temperance reversed is um, a need to focus, focus on your on your vision, focus on your long term vision. Typically, it's going overboard as well. So you know, somebody may have been going overboard, going to extremes. Finding the strength maybe to let something go. I'm not sure, but a lot of majors here. So there's universal energy here. A lot of majors. This is like out of your hands. It's like the universe is maybe forcing somebody to find their inner strength. This is about inner strength to move on from a situation. Somebody definitely thinking about a situation. It feels like they it feels like there's some sort of prayers here as well. And I feel like there's been some sort of strong hold on a situation. And there's been some sort of denial. Denial. But I feel like we have a realization of a situation. We have freedom because of that Ten of Swords reverse. That's freedom. That's liberation. Freedom. Okay. Freedom from a situation that is not balanced. That is not harmonious. That is not... Uh, there's no compromise. Okay. So we have freedom from a situation that is very frustrating. And this has to do with a lesson. So I wonder if somebody's had to learn a lesson about themselves, you know, to find their inner strength, to accept some sort of loss, you know, as a lesson or whatever. There's an acceptance here. There's some sort of acceptance. Anyhow, the Empress is about giving birth, um, nurturing things, and it's time. Stop. Stop. It's time. It's time to, and I think the timing has been off, but I feel like we have a realization. I feel like it's now time. Somebody needed to gain some sort of inner strength. They needed to maybe learn patience or learn how to uh, heal themselves. The hermit is about self, by the way. So something about self. Hmm. This is, this is, we got somebody here that is bringing somebody to a better place. It's like, this is a time of transition. It's a time of movement. And it's time for peace. It's time for harmony. So it feels like there's some sort of peaceful resolution here after a period of, I feel like, unrest and impatient and frustrations and that... Interesting. We go from bad news to good news. There's been some sort of delay, procrastination, like I said. Somebody's been procrastinating. They were maybe unwilling to compromise or something like that. Anyhow, because this is like an unwillingness to compromise or blend or to create harmony, right? But the Page of Wands is an exciting new vision, right? It's a new territory. It's a new direction, um, this could be something bursting in, you know, that is very well suited, okay? This is very exciting. It's an exciting new direction. After a period of, i got to say, loss in suffering. Um, I feel like there's been some sort of chronic issues, too, where somebody's been repeating, repeating, repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. And maybe there's even been some sort of ego in the way. But anyhow, I feel like we have a new direction. I feel like there's good news arriving. There may be a new discovery, a new realization here. I feel like there's definitely a seed that is coming to fruition now. Maybe this seed was planted a long time ago. I don't know. It feels like maybe a prayer is being answered. Maybe this wish or, you know, maybe somebody made a wish a long time ago. It feels like it's been a long time. This has been a long time. I'm coming. That's what it feels like to me. Message, offer, or invite. Or invite is coming. We have creating something. Creating something new. Q. 
King of Cups reverse. Now the King of Cups reverse is typically an individual, an actual person that does not have good intentions. But we do have a vision here. This is a visionary. This is somebody that is very optimistic and positive in um, willing to take risks. So that's interesting. But the King of Cups in reverse is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn, um, controlling, may be empty, you know, emotionally unavailable, somebody that is very um, heartless maybe, uh, cold-hearted. Somebody's taking action. They are. It's definitely action time. I feel like there's action that is being taken. I feel like there is somebody here that is cold. They may not be very intuitive. They may not be very kind or compassionate. They may be, um, doesn't have good intentions. The King of Cups in Reverse is, is an actual person that is not very nice, very cold, and uh, emotionally withdrawn, secretive as well doesn't um, open up, is very closed off emotionally. There is a moving away from that, okay? This is taking a, an optimistic approach, finding the courage and the discipline. Um, maybe, and I feel like there's been denial. Back to that two of swords, that is denial. Torn, I feel like that we have somebody here that's been torn. And this may have something to do with children, parents, you could I even have something to be, whatever the options are, somebody's been torn. But we do have a realization here. And this Empress, she's about to give birth. This is, this is something coming to fruition now. And we do have movement. And this is getting to a better place. Somebody's leaving behind a situation that is heartbreaking. Okay, it's heartbreaking. It's sad. It's emotionally... Um, closed off, right? They're moving away from it. They're moving to a better place. They're going to a better place. This is a time of um, movement, put it that way. There's been hostilities, fighting, maybe war, conflict, ego, wanting to prove oneself. There's been a lot of, um, I want to say, belittlement and betrayal. Somebody's been hoping and praying. They have. They've been hoping and praying for somebody to see. I feel like there is some sort of good news here. Um, there could even be a sad farewell that is somehow attached to this. Maybe it's time to go. Let's get one more. Page of Cups. Page of Cups is typically really good news. Okay, this is welcome news. This is an offer or an invite that is coming. Um, this is somebody that is expressing feelings or they're showing their feelings. They're flirting, you know. Um, showing emotion. This is someone that is showing emotion. And they're stepping into a new emotional experience with, with optimism. And this is somebody that is... Um, willing to try. It's like willing to open their heart, willing to uh, listen to their intuition and take some sort of emotional risk, honestly. I feel like we have somebody here that is listening to their intuition and their intuition is guiding them. I also feel like there's something to do with children here. Um, this is an opportunity an exciting opportunity is coming. This is an opportunity that, you know, you could love. And I, But I feel like this opportunity does involve a sad farewell, just saying. I feel like there's been a period of isolation and deep introspection, deep thought. Somebody may have had to learn some th sort of lesson. Huh. On the bottom of the deck is the devil reverse, which is breaking free from a situation breaking free or things get worse. This could be a disaster if you don't break free. This is taking back control, severing ties, 
you know, from a toxic bond, uh, toxic attachment. This could be extreme suffering. And the temperance reverse is extremes, okay? It is. It's extremes. It's lack of moderation, okay? And it's it's a, it's like a forcefulness. And this is a forcefulness as well. So it's it's it feels like it, there's a forcefulness here. But I feel like there's a... There's outside forces, but I feel like there's a severing of ties. It feels like there's some sort of chains that are being broken. And if they don't get broken, things are going to get worse. I do see moving away from an attachment or an addiction or a bond or a codependency. Okay, I see going to a better place. There could even be somebody that is this. I mean, we have three people in this car. And we have somebody here that is driving somebody to a new destination. So somebody may be literally... Um, receiving some help even there, to get out of a situation to get to a better place this is a very toxic situation whatever it is um, but I feel like we have a, a freedom I feel like we have freedom and breaking free from this attachment um, healing from a toxic bond there is some sort of break okay liberation again with the ten of swords underneath an offer message invite or opportunity is coming this is good news this is gives you the opportunity to either you know start a new life or you're giving birth to a new life whatever this is this brings peace okay it does bring peace because of the six of swords um I don't know. It feels like somebody's wish is being granted. A message is coming. I feel like this is good news. Good luck.